Hello all, Eric Hockster here. Excuse me, I didn't turn off my cell phone. And it's funny, I just talked about that at the end of my last video. Uh, it's funny, I'll come to bite you in the butt here. Uh, but I'm going to be playing another 5-2 Blitz game. And I hope to have some uh, some decent competition amongst my novice amigos. That's Spanish for friends. You just learned something, you can go ahead and take that home. Alright, I hope he plays D4. But if not, I'm going to go into a... Uh, Whoa. That almost looks like the white side of a, a uh, Dutch, except on not on the king side. So, uh, is that a way to play the English? Sure, I'll take it. But, um, geez, I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, I didn't turn off my ringer in the last uh, video that I didn't post, and I ended up talking about it in the other video, and it came back to bite me here. I think he wants to play d4. So if I play e4, he has two attackers on three attackers with the queen there on. Hmm. So that won't be good for me. I need to go typical Sicilian. Play d6, e6, or e5, and then get my bishop out in castle. I don't want to play a dragon. Every time I get a dragon, I always uh, have h h4, h5 to worry about. And I always end up getting checkmated. So I don't have good success with that, so I'm not going to play it. That's a good rule of thumb when uh, choosing an opening. Let's see. This is good because my queen defends my knight. My bishop's going to come out and defend. Playing a little passively, there are no pawns in the center at all. And speak of the devil. Hmm. Takes, takes. If he wants to go into an end game, I don't have to worry about my king. So, we can play your game. Or, I wonder if I even could take with the, uh, if he took my pawn, I could uh, check on the A file, recovering my pawn. Hmm, knight's infiltrating. If I played knight to, because uh, this square is covered, if I played knight to uh, E4, I could go ahead and cover G5. But I think it's better off if I just castle. There's no real threats going on. Yep, just go ahead and be productive. He made a lot of pawn moves, and I'm really uh, developing my pieces. And one thing I learned, I said I was going to try to make this more educational, which is what I forgot when I said I forgot what I was talking about. I'm going to try to make this more educational about things that I've learned. Uh, most of my viewers, or any of my viewers, probably already know these things, but uh, it's always good to go over them again. Uh, see how he's lacking in development? I have my bishop, and then I can connect my rooks, and we'll be fine. Um, I can go ahead and start opening the center and be totally, you know, totally okay with it. He does have the uh, d4 square extra protected. Hmm. What to do? Open now or continue developing? Continue developing, why not? I might put my queen on c7. Eventually, or uh, while he castles, I'll go ahead and uh, start opening things up. Takes, recaptures with the pawn, push my pawn, have a little fun, might put my rook on e1. Hmm. e8, rather. I told you I'm terrible with squares. He wants my bishop, because I think he wants the bishop pair. At least that's what I should assume. Well, we don't want any of that. Hmm. I can't play queen c7 now. My knight's in trouble. Move my knight, he attacks my pawn. Doesn't really mean anything without his queen out here to kind of double the threat a little bit. If I play my knight to uh, e4, hmm. why not? No, I don't want to. Uh, it kind of alternates the side of the board that uh, my knight would be on if he attacks it with his uh, f-pawn. Hmm. And I'll still have my, uh, my two bishops. Hmm. If I do that, he would have to take and sacrifice the bishop in order to have the pawn, so... Let's go ahead and let him do that. I just gotta start moving faster. He's rated 16, 19. I didn't even see that. 
Oh. It would help if I looked at the entire board. Remember how we were talking about full board awareness? That's not it. Alright. He's up a piece. Now I'm freaking out. Let's play a check. See a check? Play a check. Why not? Get my rook out of here. Play my bishop away somewhere. I just wasn't paying attention. If I bring it back, there's two pieces on the knight versus my on just my bishop defending. Well, we're going to witness our first potential loss in our novice to master uh, entertaining blitz series. That should be fun. I just got off a pretty long conversation with my girlfriend and one of my best friends, so that kind of clouded my head. It was a good conversation, uh, kind of going over the things that. Uh, that we've been doing, or that I've been doing, and that, you know, just catching up with my buddy, that's all. But it did get me out of the chess mood. Bishop c6. Looks bueno. Yeah, I think it looks okay. What's he going to do with this queen? Is he going to try to keep it on the 7th? Hmm, he does not. But I think that's... Oh, no. It's not a blunder. That would have been a blunder by me. If he castles though and protects his king, I can have that. Uh, I can have that knight. But he could play. Hmm. Okay. If he castles, I win a piece. I hope he castles. Hmm. Double up. Oh, but, excuse me. I'm still a little sick. Let's play his king in the center. Let's just go ahead and attack it. Right? Go ahead and threaten his king a little bit. I, I don't really have anything, so. Hmm. After this, I do have e5, but what does that really do for me? He just move his queen, and there's really nothing. Oh well, if he moves the queen off of a uh, off of this diagonal, then the uh, hmm, then the knight will be mine, and then I'll be back in the game. Whoa! Is that what he sees? I think that's what he sees. So what if I check here? Uh, where does he go? If he goes down, I'll just go ahead and check again. <sighs> yeah, I'm just losing. Why not? I should resign. I should resign. This is hopeless for me. But, uh, you never win a game by resigning. I can only hope for his blunders. If I trade everything, he's up a rook. So I'm not going to do that. This is Bullock's. His knight's pinned. So let's go ahead and attack the queen a bit. I have a pawn for the knight. We can be happy with that. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. I was thinking I was going to protect my rook. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I really don't. I really don't know what I was thinking. Have you higher level players ever wondered what goes through the mind of a novice when they blunder their queen? Absolutely nothing. That's what goes through their mind. That's exactly what goes through their mind. And he's relatively new to the website. He's uh, plus 34. Yeah, he only played uh, four blitz games, five classical games, and one bullet game. Yeah. So you ever wonder what's going through the mind of a novice when he blunders his queen? Absolutely nothing. Because he's just not paying attention. I thought I was going to protect my rook, and I was like, oh, wait, that's a queen. Queens can move backwards, in case you didn't know. So I was down a piece, and then I was down a queen as well. Um, That's embarrassing. 
Well, until next time, keep your queens safe and be well, my friends.